11 p.m. in the Twin Cities it was partly cloudy. It was minus 3 degrees or minus 19 degrees Celsius. The dew point was minus 13. The relative humidity was 62 percent. The wind was west at 7 miles an hour. The wind chill was minus 16. The pressure was 30.30 inches and in falling around the metro. Temperatures were between minus 6 and minus 2 degrees. At Plain, it was clear. It was partly cloudy at St. Paul, Eden Prairie, and Lakeville. At Lake Elmo, it was fair. Around the state, skies ranged from clear to partly cloudy, and temperatures were between minus 3 and 0 degrees. Across the Dakotas, temperatures were between minus 3 and 2 degrees. At Fargo, it was clear. At Sioux Falls, it was mostly cloudy. In Iowa, skies ranged from mostly cloudy to cloudy. It was 3 at Des Moines and minus 3 at Mason City. Around Wisconsin, at Eau Claire, it was partly cloudy with a temperature of minus 2. At Milwaukee, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 4. At Madison, it was cloudy with a temperature of 1. Once again at 11 p.m. in the Twin Cities, it was minus 3 degrees. The wind chill was minus 16, under partly cloudy skies. Now the latest weather synopsis for the eastern Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. A cold Canadian Yukon Arctic high-pressure system will begin to loosen its grip on the five-state area tonight and Wednesday. The coldest of the cold air is behind you south now. Still, a basically cold and clear weather pattern continues overnight for the north-central United States, with temperatures in the single digits and teens below zero, and a noticeable west wind making it feel electro-icy cold. Some lake effect snows are expected near the south shore of Lake Superior. For Wednesday temperatures hold steady or rise slightly into the single digits below and above zero, and a noticeable west wind. But early cold wind chills continue. Wind chill advisories are in effect through noon Wednesday for all of central and south central Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. Sub-zero temperatures will combine with winds of 10 to 15 miles per hour to yield wind chill readings from 25 below to 35 below overnight into Wednesday morning. The most dangerous wind chill values will be realized in the early morning hours. A wind chill advisory means that very cold air and wind will combine to generate low wind chills. This will result in frostbite and lead to hypothermia if precautions are not taken. If you must venture outdoors, make sure you wear a hat and gloves. Now for the National Weather Service forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area. Overnight, clear. Lows around 10 below. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Wind chill readings 19 below to 29 below zero. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs 5 to 10. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows around 10 below. Southwest winds 10 miles an hour. Thursday, mostly sunny in the morning then becoming partly cloudy. Highs 10 to 15. Southwest winds 10 miles an hour. Thursday night, not as cold. Mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of snow. Lows around 10 above. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. And now for the extended forecast. Friday and Friday night, not as cold. Mostly cloudy. A 20% chance of snow. Highs around 30. Lows around 15. Saturday and Saturday night, partly cloudy. Highs around 30. Lows in the mid-20s. Sunday and Sunday night, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of snow. Highs around 40. Lows around 20. Monday and Monday night, partly cloudy. A 20% chance of snow. Highs in the mid-30s. Lows around 20. Tuesday, partly cloudy. Highs in the mid-30s. Again, the forecast for the Twin Cities metropolitan area for overnight, clear. Lows around 10 below. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Wind chill readings 19 below to 29 below zero. Ahead of an expansive, and departed high pressure, northwest winds of 10 to 15 miles per hour brought in much colder air to the region on Monday. The following is a list of the lowest wind chills observed across central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin on Monday night, February 7th, into Tuesday morning, February 8th. Granite Falls, 47 below. Appleton, 42 below. Madison, Appleton, and Hutchinson, 40 below. 
Morris and Glenwood, 39 below. New Elm, 38 below. St. James and Wilmer, 37 below. Glencoe, Litchfield, and Painesville, 35 below. Mankato, 30 below. New Richmond, Wisconsin, 27 below. And Lake Elmo, 26 below. This is the Twin City Metropolitan Area Weather Radio Station, KC65, serving a portion of East Central Minnesota and West Central Wisconsin. We broadcast from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Chanhassen, Minnesota, on an assigned frequency of 162.55 MHz, and transmit from the KSTP Television Tower in St. Paul.